What's up all you tat daddies? We are going to be talking about Sarah Forsberg's I Regret My Tattoos video. It was really interesting. Make sure you check out the whole video because she did a really good job of being like just honest and upfront about her tattoo experience. The thumbnail was really what captured my attention. It is crazy to see this thumbnail and I just had to react to it because it there's a lot to learn and a lot to unpack. It's my most visible tattoo, and it's also the one that has aged the worst. My hand tat, that's supposed to be beautiful. And that's such a bummer because it's in such an important spot, and you just don't like seeing that on a hand of a girl who doesn't have a lot of tattoos. You don't like seeing that on anyone's hand, but especially when someone doesn't have a lot of tattoos. Super detailed gothic church went from this to this in one year. I went to a super reputable artist, great guy, amazingly talented, love him to tears, but I just wish he would have been maybe a little more realistic with me about how something like this can heal on the hand. She is so nice about this situation. There's a lot of people who would be absolutely livid and crazy upset about this for good reason. Like the problem is there. I feel so bad for the tattooer. If you're gonna make a mistake, you don't wanna make mistakes on people who make videos about it later on. I know what you're thinking. You're like, but then you're making a video about a video about him. And I go, yeah, that also sucks. I started looking into tattoo removal about a year ago and I've had a couple sessions done on some of my smaller tattoos to see how my skin and the ink responds to it. And a part of me would want to remove at least this here. Um, but I don't know, A, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that dirty looking transitional period that would last at least a couple years. That's like one of those topics that no one ever brings up is that the lasering process, not only expensive, not only painful, but it takes a long time. And the fact that your hand will look kind of weird and like a burn for a couple years is a good reason not to remove your tattoo. But I think the end result, you'll be much happier with having like a clean blank slate to start over again with. Another direction I've thought of taking is just finishing up the sleeve, you know? It only goes up to here, and I never finished what I started, which was to get a full sleeve. And I thought maybe the reason I don't like my tattoos is because it isn't finished. So that's a good idea. Like if you have a bad tattoo on your forearm and you just tattoo around it, it's not a big deal. No one's really ever gonna see the bad tattoo, but it's different when it's on your hand because it stands alone and especially because it's so different than the other tattoo she has, it just stands out. To me, lasering it is like really the only option you have if you're tired of looking at that. But I wanted to find the original photo of the tattoo and kind of talk about what I think actually happened during the process. Because looking at this photo, you can tell it's a nice tattoo, at least when it was freshly done. And it brings up a lot of issues that you see in tattooing today. And that is this like fine line tattoos that end up not looking fine line and they end up looking kind of like garbage. Sorry, but that's the reality of it. Now, first and foremost, just based off of how black the image is now, there's three things that I think went wrong. One, they did the entire outline in all black. Two, there's like her natural healing process that does not do well with fine lines. And then three, they could have roached the tattoo out. They could have just like buried the needle and blown out every single line. To me, it looks like all three kind of happened and it's something to be cautious about getting your next tattoo because like if you are interested in getting these fine lines, make sure that you're picking stuff with a lot of space because if you do too much detail and too small of a space, you're not gonna end up with a very beautiful, delicate tattoo like this one looks like from the beginning. What you're gonna get is it healed a year later. And especially tattooing on the hand, you see blowouts on fingers all the time. It just happens, it's part of I me. Mean, even like this square that she has on her, on her finger, you can tell is a little blown out. But on this hand area, it tends to happen a lot too. Something that stands out to me are these like, arches cutting across and you could just see how detailed they are and how black and saturated they are. They never had a shot. They were never gonna heal up very well. 
that poor tattooer who has to see these YouTube videos about talking about this tattoo. But it is important to talk about because you, as a viewer, who's picking their next small little delicate tattoo, make sure when you're picking them, you're picking an artist who has good healed photos and designs that they think are gonna make great tattoos. Because there's so many people who do these like micro tattoos that look great. Just so you know, as far as tattooing goes, mistakes happen. And it's a bummer part of the job. I'm sure I've made plenty of tattoo mistakes out there. But yeah, this was an interesting video. I really liked her honesty. And it's really a shame that the tattoo ended up healing so poorly. Make sure you like, subscribe, be careful picking your next tattoo because you might end up with a big black blob on your hand.